This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Bossom. I've got Norma Cummings with me from Studio Theatre Perth. Thank you for joining us. I'm very happy to. Thank you. I, we were talking before we get taping because I have people from the theatre here so often. It just amazes me how quick the turnover is for your next play. Well, as I was saying, we have usually two plays in rehearsal at the same time. And one play will be rehearsing, say, Sunday evening, Monday evening, and Wednesday evening. And the other one will be rehearsing Sunday afternoon, Tuesday evening, and Thursday evening. And it just goes on like that for the majority of the year. Occasionally, um, it ends up that there's just one on for a bit. But most times, there's two things going on. And then you stick in the, the some Friday night movies and some harmony concerts on the weekend. and. Uh, it's it's a busy theater. It really is. <clears throat> and it's just a talent within itself how you guys coordinate all your time around this. So we're going to talk about a play that you're directing right now, and it's called This Year, Next Year. Yes, it's a it's a wonderful play. You know, when, when you read a book and you finish it and you put it down and you say, that was a good book. That's the way I felt when I read This Year, Next Year. Um, and that was... Uh, <laughs> three, four years ago, because we had planned to do this play before the pandemic started. Mm. So it's been on the back burner for quite a while. And uh, we have, um, of the original, we had just cast it. And of the original cast, we have one person now, you know, three years later sort of thing. Oh. But it was written by Nora Harding, who was born in Bournemouth, which is where the play takes place. And uh, she came over to Canada as a war bride. And the play is, um, you can't say it's 100% true because it's been made into a play, but it's, it's her life, it's her language, and what was going on in her life at the time. That's a delightful play. And it, it's about the, the women of war. Is that how yes. I, yes. it is? Mm -hmm. it, how It's how, not, it's a, about how the family how the war has affected the family and how they cope with it. They have rationing. They go through, you know, bomb scares, air, uh, rape, sirens, you know, this sort of thing. Uh, and uh, living living with restrictions on their food and, and uh, what they can do. And uh, so it's a mother and her three daughters, one of whom is already a war widow. And then... Um, mother's uh, brother and his uh, delightful, quotation marks, uh, wife, uh, who is, well, you could say she's the comic relief or whatever, but uh, as one person uh, quoted as saying, she's uh, just missing a few filters, <laughs> but she, she's, she's a, a neat lady. So the play has, has everything. It, it's um, uh, poignant, if you like, it's family relationships. It's got some fun, it's got a little bit of music, um, and it's got some comedy. It's it's everything. It's a wonderful play. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a great night out, for sure, for sure. And uh, you're the director of the play. Is this your first time directing? No, this is uh, my fifth or sixth play now. Yeah, over over the years, of course, nothing in the last little while. But uh, no, you, you start off and then you, you see a play and, oh, yeah, I'd kind of like to direct that one, you know, or be involved in that one. So, uh, yeah, no, this is, this is my sixth. How long have you been with the uh, Studio Theatre Perth? I think it's going on uh, about 14 years now, wow. I guess. Yeah. Wow. So uh, you've pretty much held uh, every position available, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, I don't do tech anymore. It's become way too high tech for me now. Uh, but, uh, I like doing props. I don't usually do costumes. Um, directing, yeah, that's, that's those those parts. And I've been on stage sometimes, so. Oh, and what, what do you like the best? <laughs> probably at this stage of my life, uh, probably props, uh, because you don't have to memorize <laughs> and, and that sort of thing. It was fun being on stage, though, it was fun being part of a cast and, and uh, um, you know, just, just the way it all comes together. But uh, at this point, I, I'm 
quite happy to be backstage and and let others take the bows and the accolades. Yeah. And I mean, that's important too, because so many people see the cast of the play and they think that's it. And it takes so many people to make a play run. It's the people in the back, it's, it's the promoters, people like the directors, people like you, you know, getting the word out there. Uh, usually if you, if you look at a uh, theater program, there will be at least twice as many people on the crew side as on the acting side. And if there's only a few actors, there'll be maybe three times as many people because you still need your, your, your lighting and your sound and your props and, and all the rest of it that, that go with it. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Now this play uh, this year, next year, it is starting in May, on May 28th? It starts on May 26th, on, oh, May 26th. on thir Thursday. Yeah, we're doing Thursday, Friday evening of the first weekend, and then a Saturday matinee, which is not usual for us, on the first Saturday, uh, mainly because there's the uh, Perth uh, vendor night uh, market going on. And so just to not a, well, not just be in conflict, but just so people can get around and everything. And this way, if they want to, they can come to a play in the afternoon, go out for supper at one of our great restaurants in Perth, and then do the night vendor market because they have piles of stuff going on. And then we do the Sunday matinee. And then the next weekend is Thursday, Friday, Saturday evenings, and again, a Sunday matinee. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Now, how do people get tickets? Uh, they can uh, uh, contact Tickets Please at ticketsplease.ca, get their tickets that way, or they can get tickets at the door. And tickets are $24 and $5 off on the first uh, opening Thursday night. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I, I would uh, encourage people to get your tickets online because uh, you're being a little risky waiting to see if there's any left at the door, right? We, yeah, we, we, we like to think that, but yeah. uh, you, can usually, you can usually guarantee because we have a big theater, we're still running at uh, 50% um, just for people's comfort. Uh, and people are to wear masks until they get seated. And then once they're not moving around, they can they can take their mask off. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Now I was at the Festival of the Maples last week and I saw you had a booth outside too. And a lot of people having a great time there too. <laughs> yes, uh, our, our, our people, theater people, and especially front of house people and so forth, they're generally a fun bunch. And, and uh, they like, uh, you know, to do something like that and, and get out and talk to people. There's still people that don't know the theater exists there. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is tucked around, but it's right opposite the Crystal Palace and uh, um, the big parking lot at Tay Basin there, so. That's right, that's right. It's very accessible too. Yes, yes. completely. We have an elevator and uh, uh, yes. For it's sure, for very sure. good that way. Yes, absolutely. So uh, with me today, Norma Cummings from the Studio Theatre Perth. She's directing the play this year, next year, which starts on May 26th. And uh, to get your tickets, go to Ticket Please. Thanks for joining us today, Norma. I'm very happy to do so. Thanks for having me. Yeah, break a leg.